throughout my time of uploading videos here on YouTube, there is one question I always get asked. What camera gear do I use? You're wondering how I got this shot, this one, and oh, maybe not that one. And instead of just telling you, why don't I just show you? Let's talk about it. This is my camera setup. And with any camera setup, we need to get, well, a camera. So I introduce you to my camera bag. A compact bag for all my camera necessities. But being selective with your camera gear can get pretty difficult. And so I made a personal criteria that I follow. Keep in mind, this setup works for my workflow, but yours may be completely different to mine. One, the gear must be simple and portable. It has to be compact in size, yet serve its purpose, making it easier to use, and the more encouraged I'll be to use it. Two, the gear must be affordable. With other content creators, camera bodies alone costing upwards of $2,000, and I didn't have that kind of budget to spend, and nor does any beginner. So you're probably wondering, how did I do it? Buying the gear I have new would have costed well above $1,000, but there is one place I can think of that you can get hundreds of dollars off. Facebook Marketplace. This camera and every single lens had been purchased used. Just make sure they're legit and most people sell gear relatively quite new anyway, so that's where the juicy discounts are too irresistible. Number three, the gear must create shots that weren't possible before. Whether it is the lighting, the tripod, or the unique angles, or the lens, it should create shots that weren't possible with my existing setup, or the new gear does a noticeably better job. Oh, the, oh my gosh, that's bright. Now, to get back to your question, what camera do I use? Well, it's none other than the budget hybrid camera, the Canon M50. With a good photo taking capability and video, this camera is still one of the best beginner friendly cameras despite being released six years ago. I love using it and it still proves to be a viable camera to this day. However, it's no longer the best option and there are some big flaws with this camera. Even though this camera has 4K 24 frames capability, I currently shoot at 1080 and that's because that's what goes from this at 1080p goes to this at 4K. It has a crop factor of 1.6 times, which is a big no-no. And as someone who's learning how to color grade, there is no log profile on this camera, which basically means a less dynamic range of color to add in post. So to work around this, I basically use a natural color profile which goes from this to this, which takes away the colors and basically drop the saturation and contrast down to the very bottom to somewhat create a better dynamic range in post. So you're probably wondering, what camera should I get instead? Get the Sony ZV-10. With 30 frames per second 4K with no crop, S-Log profile to color grade, this would have been a perfect fit for me but we can't win everything. From wide, mediums, and close-up and detail shots. Camera lens creates a diverse range of shots. I currently have three lenses, each serving its own purpose to provide variety. First, the Canon 15 to 45 millimeter. It's versatile as it has different zooms. It's mostly used to get my medium shots, and some close-ups. So I think it is a perfect lens for anyone. Now I know this shot is close and personal, but to get that good depth of field like this, familiar in your favorite movies, you'll need a lens that has the lowest aperture. This creates that nice blurred background and looks cinematic. Bring in the Nifty 50. This cheap pancake lens is how all of my detail shots are done. With nice bokeh with a tight 50 mil, I'm able to get nice details, however, you'll need an adapter to fit onto the M50. 
And bonus tip, I have the secret source that I'll mention later in this video to make your 50 mil lens into a macro lens. What? Finally, the wide shots, the establishing shots to give context. I use this for my vlogging to fit my big head in the frame and this is done with the Canon 11-22mm f4 which allows super wide to a slight medium shot and this is one of my most used lenses out the bunch. Final point being lenses are important and it's not about getting the newest lenses it's about the right gear that makes a good video. To be completely honest I don't think I'll be picking up any more new lenses just because I'm pretty happy with this compact setup and I'd rather just upgrade the body. I'm not thinking about that right now because uh, I'm, 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 I'm broke. <sighs> the next thing I want to talk about is... T t t testing, who, testing. Who is that? Testing, testing. Audio. There is two types of audio I use. And the first is the shotgun mic. This mic has a pickup pattern where audio is clearer where it's pointed from the front and less clear from the back and to the side, which makes it perfect for vlogging and capturing sound and the scenery. I currently use the small rig for Avala S20 and it does an okay job. I originally bought it thinking it wasn't going to be that important, but bad audio ruins a good video, so invest in your audio, please. So I recommend buying the Rode Video Mic Go 2 from Rode instead as it's a lot more reliable than my current one. I'm have to leave these. The second mic is what I'm actually using right now and it's the more reliable mic for me and it is the Babalia mic. This is the Holy Land Lark 150. I bought this off Marketplace for $100 when it's originally like $300. Now this mic is a lifesaver and game changer because I can talk here, here, or even here. It's so windy. And this is all done while maintaining clarity and consistency in my voice without any audio drop off. And that's because you can attach the mic on yourself and put the receiver on the camera. This is perfect for filming yourself from a distance and still be heard loud and clear. Hey! And as a bonus, I use this as a voiceover mic as well. Alright, cut. Thanks for holding that camera shot for me. You're yeah, in no the worries. Truth is, I shoot 99% of my shots all by myself. So the most essential gear is the tripod. The first one I use is called the Joby Gorillapod 3K. With its super compact size and ability to adjust the legs in endless ways, this makes it the perfect travel tripod to slip into my bag and use it on the go. And it also works as a nice tripod desk. And the best part is, it was free. This was kindly gifted by my good friend Johnny, who also introduced me to the world of cameras. So thank you, bro. I've linked his channel in the description, so show him some love. Now, to get back into topic, when I need shots that require a bit more flexibility in height or angle, I bring in the big boy. 90% of my shots at home are used with this guy. With the ability to change the heights and being sturdy, I can rely on this tripod for great still shots. Though, it's quite big, so it's not the most travel friendly. And speaking of travel, I'm going to Korea soon, so keep an eye out on the vlogs. I can't wait for the food. <sighs> That is pretty much the basics of my camera setup, but there is still one more thing up my sleeve. The extras. These are what makes my setups add character and achieve creative shots. I mentioned before that you can actually get macro shots without having a macro lens. These are diopter filters. Coming in with different magnification. These are what I use to get ultra close-ups. Put it on any lens and wow, beautiful. Another vital equipment to get unique shots is an arm clamp. This one's from Newer and it allows me to get pop shots, top down shots, and is good to get those creative shots I've used in my videos recently. To complete my setup, I wanted lighting that was reliable, compact, and powerful, and the VL 
49 from Ulanzi does exactly that. With different color temperatures from warm, cool lighting, to even RGB. This powerful, long-lasting LED fits right into my compact camera bag. It sounds like a lot, but gear is something you build over time. Remember the best gear you have is what you have right now, so let your limitations fuel your creativity. Don't let gear be an excuse for you to not post or start something because everyone has to start somewhere. So what are you waiting for? Bring your ideas to life and go make that video. You've got this. Janet.